that's good. All right, guys. Welcome to the next episode of the Miata restoration in the Rusty Beauty's garage with Nick and myself. Hello. Hi, Nick. <laughs> so, we haven't been working on this car for a long time. It's probably a month and a half now. We always had something else to do in the weeks or the weekends when Nick was here. So, today it's a long weekend in Canada, so we have done other things too on saturday but now we have sunday and monday to work on the car hopefully if something else doesn't show up anyways as usual we're gonna lift the side that we're gonna be working on and uh, again i'm gonna have to relearn <laughs> what we've done so far and what the plan was because when you work on the project intermittently and you work on thousands other projects in the meantime you lose connection <laughs> anyways let's look at the other side at least something that is already done so we can be a little bit more satisfied but it's still in primer here so it starts rusting here and there see they're on the welds but yeah soon the time is gonna come when we're gonna finish welding and we're gonna start working on the paint and priming her and painting her hopefully we're gonna be able to do that because i'm losing uh i'm losing hope with my gt6 over there i think it's not gonna be not i think but i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be ready for september so yeah unfortunately so fortunately i'm busy with other people's cars like this one for example and constantly i have more and more calls now in the summer it's not officially summer yet but it's almost summer people's cars are out so unfortunately or fortunately we don't have much time for our own car anyways enough talking let's get crack locking all right so in the last episode we at the end we made this patch which we're gonna put here and we're gonna weld but before we do that i said that we're gonna make the repair patches for here but now when i'm looking at it maybe it's a good idea to put this one in place first maybe just tuck it or clump it i don't know and then we're gonna figure this out so i made this angle a little bit different than what it was before because you see before it was going further down here like it was going down here and then coming out i made it take a shortcut so now we have to make this piece a little bit more curved here so anyways that makes it complicated i might not make a flange here because I don't think we need a flange. If we don't have a flange, it's gonna be much easier to make. And then we're gonna just butt weld it here at the end to this piece. You don't know what I mean? Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what I mean, you see? Here, there's no flange. I can weld a flange, but is there a point to it? I don't think so. I'm just gonna weld the patch to the seal inner seal or whatever that is and that's it See underneath though there's another layer this one that i'm gonna repair like this like this and the two are gonna overlap that's how they are the two bottom parts overlap here so we're gonna do it the same way so i think it's time to start welding all right, while I'm working on those patches underneath, Nick took out the bonnet, not the bonnet, the trunk lid on this, boot lid, if you're in England. So he took it out because we have an issue here that we need to solve. So instead of sitting around waiting for me to make patches and so he can wear them, maybe he can make patches on his own. We'll see. This is the, it's upside down. Really? 
Yeah. All right, so Nick insists that I tell you that this is the trunk lid upside down. Duh. <laughs> well, it could have been the other way, I don't know. <laughs> this is where the third brake light is, so he's gonna take it out. But I was just wondering what happened here, and I just realized what happened. So you see these holes here, there's one hole here, one hole here. I'm assuming there was a hole here and there's somewhere here and here but somebody smart decided to plug them because probably there was water coming out of them and they didn't realize that this is there for a reason so all the water can drain now the water couldn't drain and it was collecting here and that's why it rusted out so now when we repair it eventually we're gonna put so we're gonna drill new holes to make sure that we give a path for the water to escape even though it's still gonna go into this no you understand this is upside down right <laughs> it's still gonna go in between here and it's gonna still collect in this area but there's not much we can do here yeah that's not a great design but it is what it is anyways we're gonna see how we're gonna repair this but first of all nick is gonna clean it because when he got the car there was a fiberglass patch here which didn't even cure properly because this is sticky so we will see how we're gonna clean this up all right so this is welded underneath the inside one i welded the inside one then i welded this one on top of it or under it in theory in fact and uh, then i tucked this one on this side i painted everything inside of this one with a truck bed liner but now we're gonna burn it wherever we weld here but you see what i mean now we can weld it here and here of course i'm gonna have to make a tuck then hammer push this up because now it's springing back up but once you make a tuck here somewhere then you can push the other one up and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna weld it all over here and then nick is gonna come and he's gonna weld inside here everything Okay, so I, while I was welding these patches in place, Nicola stripped this a little bit. He removed the paint and all the dirt from here. And I asked him to pull this flange up because we want to get rid of this, right? This is like a door. This flange goes in and this goes bent, bent around it. Uh, here though, it is really tricky. The flange is really flimsy but i was just telling him i don't want to mess with this flange we can just cut it off and then weld the strip inside and weld it here on the edge but we're gonna lose this line on the outside and it's way too much work which i don't want to get into i think the flange is not way too bad we're gonna de-rust it from inside and all that good stuff so now i think we should just go and cut it from here and then here, like I said to Nicola, I don't want to go into this bend, so we're going to stop somewhere here. This way we're going to have to make just one bend, this one here. You see this line? We're going to have to make it here. So somewhere here we're going to cut it, and here. And here to finish it, unfortunately, we're going to have to cut through the flange as well. And same as here. And then we're going to be able to remove this rusty piece from here, and that's going to make it a little bit easier for us to unbend this flange and straighten it and de-rust everything and then nick is gonna try to make this patch for here for he's gonna make it first he's gonna make it out of cardboard and uh we'll go from there all right so nick was able to cut this out from here but when we looked inside, there was some bondo inside too. You see where it's sticking here, right there. So I pushed a little bit on it and this repair just turned into a bigger repair than what we were expecting. 
So you see that there's more holes here. If I poke through here, like here, that's a hole. There's a body filler coming through from outside. So I say we just ignore this for now. This is where it poked out. Anyway, I think we should just ignore the outside for now. We need to make a patch like this. First out of uh, cardboard and then out of metal that fits here inside. Then we're gonna clean inside everything. Oh, we're gonna paint it and then we can weld the patch in with the flange sticking up in this corner. And then we can even bend it down and then we can cut out the rust from here because we're not gonna replace everything. Maybe we're gonna cut it from here somewhere to here and we're gonna replace just a piece like that. So let's not worry about it now. Let's make this. All right, so this patch turned out to be a little bit more complicated than what I expected, so Nicole needs help with it. The patch in uh, final shape needs to be like that, so it needs to have this flange up, but this flange is a little bit curved, which means we can't do it on the brake because it's curved, right? It goes, has a little bit of a bow on it. So if we make a straight flange first and we shrink here, then this flange is going to become curved, right? But we can't shrink that deep. This means that we can actually make it like that. Initially, we can cut the piece of metal with a straight line, make a straight bend on the brake, then cut the piece here with a V-shape, and that's how we're going to shrink it, and it's going to turn into this shape. For here, for the end, we have a little bit going down like it, it needs to go down like that so i made this cut here on the template so that's how we're gonna cut it initially we're gonna make this v-shape cut then we're gonna bend this flange away like that so we can put the rest on the brake we're gonna make this bend and then we're gonna straighten this flange up and they're gonna meet somewhere here like that and why it needs to be like that? Well, let me show you here on the inside of the trunk lid. That's how it needs to be. See, it needs even more than what I cut already here. And at the end here, it needs to go down. But it's gonna work. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to make this patch as well for Nick. <laughs> That's right. so we transferred it here I don't know if you see the line very thin line we transferred it on the sheet metal and I told Nicola because now this is not a straight line it's curved line he's gonna cut it but he's gonna go just on top and he's gonna make a mark he's gonna score it literally and this line we can cut completely and then we're gonna wiggle it and we're gonna snap it off because with a straight disc you can't cut curved lines you know and plus this line is not precise yet we're gonna creep into the precise line when we have all the bends done
clearly. No, I meant the the end that you just fixed. Yeah. Okay, so now it also needs to curve this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now we have to stretch this sponge. Okay. So it goes. Yeah. All right, so it's again two weeks later, or I don't know how many weeks later. We always <laughs> plan to work more on the car and there's always something that happens that we... It's usually to have fun dog, don't make me trip over you. Like last week, I think we went to Wonderland instead of working a second day on the car. So anyways, we have a few hours today and Nick is just gonna bring the car in and we're gonna do a little bit more work on it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's cover that oily rug there so we don't shoot sparks on it. All right, so Nick has just jacked it up and from last time he has something here that I prepared for him to weld. So now he can weld all this here, then we're gonna paint it and I made also this patch last time. I hope I filmed it, I don't remember what I filmed and what I haven't, but this goes here after to finish this part and then we're gonna see this another part here that we need to make that's where we're gonna start we also have on the table there i just pulled out the the boots again and we have this patch that we made last time and i think it's almost ready to be welded actually that's how it goes we're gonna make it match i made also this bend here like on the vise very gentle and yeah we're gonna make sure it fits nicely we're gonna weld that as well once this is welded then we have to repair this part here we're gonna cut it out then we have to get rid of the body filler first to see what's there because there's probably more you see this whole entire area here has been affected inside which means i don't know we're gonna clean it up and we will see so yeah I remember before we won't before we weld this we need to clean this up inside and see how far the damage is going then paint and all that good stuff you think it's better if we repair the this part first before we weld that um no I don't think so because I don't want to distort this much because yeah. for now the shape I actually last time I made a template and I think I just threw it away anyways I made a template for this shape here from the center to here and I flipped it and it was still good for here so I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this inside first maybe we're gonna tap it down in the two ends to hold it in place so the shape remains the same and then we're gonna repair that Anyways, that's the plan, so let's get crack a locking. <laughs> let's get crack a locking. Let's get crack a locking. <laughs> All right, so while Nick is welding here, I'm going to show you how I made that patch from earlier. I filmed it, but I didn't talk too much because there were people talking in the garage. So I'm just going to speed it up.
All right, so this is what I made. It needs to be adjusted when we are welding it. So we're gonna push it in and weld it here. And then here it needs to be twisted a little bit like this, that it's gonna be, it's gonna fit more or less. Plus it is inside, nobody's gonna see it, but I just wanted to bring it as close as possible to the shape but we can't weld it yet because we need to de-rust inside here, paint, we need to weld this and then we're gonna have to deal with these other ones on the outside but that's gonna be after. more discoveries obviously somebody put a wing here at some point and then they removed it and why would we weld it when we can just fill it up with body filler and <laughs> it wasn't even parallel you see this hole here to the edge is so much shorter than that hole here this distance here is much longer than that one <laughs> anyways so even more work here so removed all the body filler from here anyway so i sprayed uh well you can't see it here it's too bright but i sprayed it with a uh, rust converter so we're gonna give it some time to do its magic and then we're gonna paint it and we're gonna start welding the patch nick in the meantime welded here and ground only the flange we don't need the rest of it ground so we're gonna paint this now and we're gonna install our ne next patch all right i actually went and painted or primered everywhere where i could reach now i mean we had to clean inside a little bit but it was rust converted long time ago so i just gave it another wire wheel and now it's it it is pretty clean inside so this patch is tucked we will see if nick can weld it now here and there and here and then we're gonna start making this for here we have somewhere the cutoff pieces from here but they were rusted at the bottom so we'll see if we're gonna use them or we're gonna just use them use them as templates and make new ones we'll see all right so this is welded and i'm gonna come and start making the new patches i have to grind a little bit i'll grind it that's fine um i'm gonna start making the new patches and in the meantime nick is gonna start welding this so i primed it inside this is primed inside as well so i'm gonna set it here and i'm gonna tuck it in a few places for nick and then he's gonna finish welding it. All right, I tucked this in lots of places, try to line it up as best as I can. So Nico is gonna finish welding it now. And then we're gonna make this repair, I guess. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go make the rest of these patches for here. So it's all welded now. Nick did a good job, so we decided probably we're gonna leave it for next time to grind because we have only half an hour left. Unfortunately, we started late today and <laughs> and we need to finish early. So now he's gonna weld these. He's gonna put 
a piece of brass or whatever this is on the outside it's gonna weld this from the inside first and then we're gonna flip it and it's gonna weld on the outside as well and then we're gonna grind them Okay, I made here a little bit of a modification. So you see how this was. So this piece is this piece, right? The one that we already made. And this triangular kind of piece has a flange that goes and overlaps it. So that's this triangular piece is the extension of this one here. So it was supposed to go down with a flange inside that we were supposed to weld on this side. But they made it this way because they were two separate parts and it was easier in the production to just spot weld them together. But for me right now, it's easier actually to just weld them together. So up to here, we have the flange, but from here down, the two pieces are just gonna be welded together in the corner, maybe on this side and on this side as well so nick is gonna come now and weld them and he's gonna weld here and here and that's gonna be the last job for today i think because we don't have much time but these are welded and ground down pretty good on this side as well on the inside we still have to grind but that's gonna happen the next time That's gonna happen the next time. We're gonna grind here and here and here. And then we're gonna bend the flange down there and we're gonna cut off the piece that we need to repair here. This. What did you do? Here and here and here. Up there, okay. That's good. So let it cool down now and uh, we're gonna paint it and there's another patch here for the next time where is it okay so that's the one that we cut off from here so that's the last one from the inner structure so we need to make this but extend it so it goes down and it bends down this way and then down this way and connect with the flange at the bottom and that's gonna be it for the inner structure and then we're gonna come here and deal with that this is the worst part remember anyways yeah, we're moving fast compared to the last yeah fast hour wise but we're taking long time bef between yeah. The times we work because it's summer outside and we go to wonderland and we have fun so <laughs> anyways uh, that's gonna be it for today guys we're gonna just take the car outside now and i don't know how much more we have let me sit next to nicole <laughs> back home. Yeah. because i made him work on my car yeah <laughs> And I made him bend over and work. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Well, I do that every day. You're 50, I'm not. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm 50 and I'm... The back problems for me are more common. Anyway, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I don't know how much we have, if it is enough for one video or not. But I'm just going to uh, upload it because it's been a long time since the last video for this car. So... Even if it's a short one, we're gonna put it up for people to see that we are still working on it. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, subscribing and sharing and supporting the channel. Thanks for everything that you do for the Rusty Beauties community. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.